All hell of beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In today's video, we're discussing leather essence from Ferrari. Now, if you guys are a part of Fragcom, then you know that Chad from A Gentleman's Journey is our resident Ferrari expert. He is like an expert on all their fragrances. It's because he loves them, like from the bottom of his heart. In fact, he's the only reason why we're actually into this review today because he sent me this fragrance maybe back in November or December. Maybe it was October, I'm not sure. He sent this back to me uh, last year and was like, hey, I want you to get your nose on the house of Ferrari. So he sent this over to me. And to be quite honest, if it wasn't for him, I don't think I would have ever just blindly purchased a Ferrari fragrance. So let's see what you got, Chad. Now I'm going to be extremely gentle with this fragrance and the box because Chad gave me strict instructions when sending me me this fragrance to not break or damage the box. So I wanted to make sure that you guys had a proper opportunity to view it in case you've never seen a Ferrari. So here you got the brown box, you have the silver. Fuck that box, Chad. What you gonna do about it? I was extra gentle. Now, because of the name of this fragrance, I expected this one to be overtly masculine, strong, bold, and in your face. Now, I still think that this one is a strong, masculine fragrance, but it's not boom like I expected it to be. I mean, with the name like Leather Essence, what do you expect? Now, I find that this one comes off to be um, a little light, a tad bit sweet, and I think the sweetness is more derived from the tonka that's in this one. And if you're anything like me, you're going to compare most leather-based fragrances to um, one of the best leather-based fragrances, if you ask me, Tuscan Leather by the master Tom Ford. But the fact is that they're nothing alike. To my nose, this one has a hint of spice to it, but it also comes off a bit stale. I don't know if stale is the right word with that. Maybe I'm looking for like dry and flat. It doesn't pop off of the skin. However, when this one dries down, it comes off a bit earthy and woody. I don't know, man. I, I can't really put my, my nose on the actual note um, or what this one is, but it does come off like very earthy, very dry, but it's not bad. Now, since I've had this fragrance, I've done multiple tests, both on skin and on paper, and the results have been the same through and through. On paper, I've consistently gotten 12 plus hours on this one. Like I would spray it, leave it downstairs, wake up, go downstairs, it would still be trucking along. When I put this one on skin, I easily get between eight and 10 hours on this one. And if you're looking for a fragrance that's going to perform, then obviously the performance is there. Now, although I don't believe this one to be a bad fragrance, I don't think this is one that's going to garner you a ton of compliments. In fact, I've never gotten a compliment with this fragrance, but I mean, I'm not the end all be all. I mean, maybe you got a compliment with it, but I have it. I mean, I let my wife try this one. She didn't like really like it. I mean, she didn't like it. We kind of agreed on something, which I'll touch on later, but she didn't really like this one. So I don't think you're going to get a lot of attention from the ladies with this one. Um, what I do think you will get is something that's more like, hey, this is something Maybe a man in authority will wear a starter figure, but not like like way up there on the corporate ladder. This, I do find this one to be bold, it's masculine, it's rich, but it just doesn't like scream compliments. I'm not sure, man. Maybe some of you guys out there have had experience with this one. You can comment below and let me know your thoughts on this. This one is still readily available at pretty much any discounter that you can find out there. This one isn't, however, on the website anymore, so I do not believe this one is still in production today. If you go to the Shop Ferrari website, they have two fragrances readily available there. This one isn't. However, you know, Fragrance Net, uh, Fragrance Buy, I believe he bought this one from Fragrance X. You can pretty much find this one available at all your fragrance discounters, and it will be there. Just put in Ferrari. It's here. Now again, I don't feel like this one is a bad fragrance, but it's not one that I would readily reach for a lot. But it does fit a few people that I know have come across in the past. So as I said earlier, my wife and I agreed on something. Um, one of my old teachers, man, he was a history teacher. His name was Mr. Kilikowski or Mr. K because his name was extremely difficult to pronounce for some people. I call him Mr. Killer. And Mr. Kilikowski, man, he was like this tall guy. He was like very informative. He knew all about the history. Plus he was cool, man. Like, you know, lunchtime came around, he would leave out his class, you know, he would let me get his classroom, you know, me and my lady. She wasn't my lady at the time, my wife. You know, we would sneak in the classroom. We wasn't really sneaking, we would walk in the classroom and it would be ours for the entire lunch period. And I would like harass her in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't do nothing crazy, but I did harass her, like a lot, like a lot. To the point where now she's mine. Look, man, you gotta remember high school memories like that, man. Mr. K, man, he was the dopest teacher alive. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if he's still alive. 
<laughs> it's pretty old. I mean, I don't know, man. All teachers are old to me. I was like, you guys are old. Anyway, this reminds me of something like a high school teacher where, um, you know, they kind of have a little bit of authority, but you can't really do nothing to you. So this just got that old vibe, man. Um, not something that I would readily wear all the time, but I can see people who would wear this one. Um, on a scale of one to 10, even though it's not my taste, I'm going to give this one like a seven, like a seven. I think this one will work for some people. It doesn't fit my personality, but this one does work for some people. And this is a lot better than I thought it would be. Like when I saw the Ferrari fragrance, man, especially the price point on it, I was thinking it was gonna smell cheap, and very synthetic, but no, quite the opposite with this one. So solid performance on it. Again, eight plus hours on skin, um, 12 plus hours on paper, and paper symbolizes your clothes. So I think if you're looking for a leather-based fragrance, this is one you might want to try out if you're not looking to spend a lot of money. And that's all I got for you, man. I'm your boy, Big B. B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back, okay? And smell my essence. And while you at it, hit the goddamn 